Good Friday morning, lads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Spencer Walter, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, while January is quickly winding down, college visits will start up next week. Stay on top of upcoming college visits by checking in with the Counseling Center in person or visiting their website. Here are the visits scheduled for February. The Tulsa Welding School will join us on Wednesday, February 6th. Then the reps from UCCS will return on Thursday, February 7th. The reps from Colorado Mesa University will be back on Wednesday, February 20th. And Fort Hayes State scheduled a visit for Thursday, February 21st. March visits start off with Adams State on the 7th, and April visits kick off with the Western Colorado University on April 17th. Remember, you need a pass to attend these college visits, and you can get those passes in the Counseling Center. Seniors, if you don't have your class shirt yet, you still have a chance to get one. They are available for $15 in the Counseling Center, but quantities and sizes are limited. Remember, the Senior Panoramic is scheduled for next week on Tuesday, February 5th at 7.15 in Bowers Gym. Buy your class shirt now so you can rep the class of 2019 with pride. Those of you planning to apply for the Fountain Valley Scholar Scholarship, the deadline has been extended to Monday, February 4th. But why not seize the day and get your applications in now so you can enjoy your weekend? Of course, for those of you who were busy seizing the day and not getting your credits, the next session of credit recovery is now open for registration. The deadline to register is Wednesday, February 6th, and the spring session starts on Monday, February 11th, with the orientation and pre-testing in Lab 153 at 3.30. Remember, tuition is $100 per course, and you can take up to two courses per session. See your counselor for more information and details. The Mill will be hosting an open house on February 13th at 6 p.m. for parents and students interested in cabinet manufacturing and construction technology courses. This is a great way to get more information for the courses next year. The time for scheduling is over as all the schedule cards are due today. When you get a moment, swing by the Counseling Center to drop those off. When we return from the break, we will have information on the winter formal, but first we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Jeremiah Jones. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Student Appreciation Day is happening tomorrow at 2 p.m. in Clune Arena. Come watch the Air Force Academy Falcons take on the CSU Rams. Tickets for the students are just $5 and adults are $7. Visit this website and use the promo code STUDENT to get your tickets. Attention NJROTC cadets. The military ball is planned for March 16th and it will be here before you know it. If you are bringing an outside guest, you can pick up those forms in the main office. They are due on Friday, February 22nd. We will have more information on the ball later. The forensics team will be heading to Discovery Canyon campus today and tomorrow for a Congress tournament. We wish them good luck and clean speeches. The girls basketball team is back in Bowers tonight against the Classical Academy at 7 p.m. Come out and cheer them on to victory. The boys are traveling tonight to take on the TCA Titans at 7 p.m. on the TCA court. Come check out their moves and cheer them on. The ladies swim team is set for league championships today and tomorrow at Cheyenne Mountain High School. The ladies have been very, very good recently and are ready to lap some swimmers at league today. Our wrestling team is also headed to league championships next week at Cannon City on February 9th. The team is set to send some wrestlers to the regional meet so they could use our support. Glads, the band department is selling bleacher seats so we can have more comfortable experiences at Bowers and Foster Stadiums. The seats are priced at $25 for one and $40 for two. Catch the pet band at all home basketball games to buy your stadium seat. Your Toshi will thank you. And while we're talking about the band, be sure to save the state, February 11th. That's when our WHS brass quintet and jazz bands will join forces with Stellar Brass the U.S. Air Force Academy's Bands Brass Quintet for a concert at 7 p.m. The show will be in the WHS Auditorium and it is a free event. Come celebrate a night of amazing music. And now let's flip it over to Mr. Damon to give us the health tip of the week. All right, guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health, and today's gonna, we're going to be talking about the benefits of getting outside for some good old physical activity. First benefit is that you guys have an opportunity as you get outside and participate in physical activity with others to really build some long and lasting relationships. Many of the friendships that you have now are based on where you live, where when you have commonalities with people, like going outside, doing some hiking, you really get to build some deeper 
relationships. Secondly, we have the benefits of physical activity. We know that physical activity reduces stress, anxiety, as well as depression, as well as it helps improve your self-esteem and your confidence. Another benefit of getting outside is it's actually been shown to prove your performance in work and school by increasing productivity. Some of the reasons why this happens include mental clarity as well as changing your perspective towards your daily task. And finally, there's benefits to the mind of getting outside. Some of these benefits include a reduction in mental stress, an increase in your sense of purpose, increases in confidence, a sense of exhilaration, adventure, as well as you're challenging yourself through the physical activities that you're performing. This weekend, I would like to encourage all of you guys to get outside and do some physical activity. Maybe go on a hike or find a nice park to go play around at. And this is Damon's Dose of Health. Thanks, Mr. Damon. Ladies Tennis, your workouts begin today after school on the tennis courts. See you there. Ultimate Frisbee players, Mr. Nell would like to see you at a meeting today in room 116 at lunch. And finally, this Sunday is the big game. We're not allowed to call it by its specific name, but we know many of you are cheering for the Rams or the Patriots. But we all know the winner will be the awesome commercials. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Have a great weekend. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Spencer. Thanks for that update, Jeremiah. Ladies, Becca's Closet is brimming with new dresses in all styles and sizes. Come check them out and pick a winner for the military ball or the winter formal. See Ms. Ford in room 122 or Miss HK in the library to make your shopping appointment. Remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Whoa, 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 Corinne. We're having a winter formal. What? That's right, Spencer. But you knew that already. Care to help us out with the deets? You betcha! NHS is bringing back Winter Homecoming. This semi-formal dance will be on Friday, February 15th from 7 to 10 p.m. You can buy your tickets now in the business office for $5 in advance for one more week. But if you wait, tickets at the door will cost you $10. Students in all grades will be eligible for the Winter Court, and those nominations will take place at the Blue Tiles next week. On February 5th and 6th at lunch, voting will take place on February 12th and 13th. If you have any questions about the participation, see Ms. Melton in room 103. Those of you wanting to bring an outside guest, those forms are now available in the main office. But you should hurry because they are due on Thursday, February 7th. Also, some of you may be wondering how to dress for the semi-formal dance. Well, here are some pointers. Ladies, you can wear a dress from Becca's closet. The dress can be long or short. You can also wear a dress that you might wear to a party. Gentlemen, please do not wear jeans. If you wear nice slaster pants with a long sleeve shirt and tie, you should be good to go. Please do not come to the dance in sweatpants. And now, here's Miss Betsy with the lunch menu for today. Friday, made it through another week. I'm so excited. Today's chicken quesadillas. And on Monday, meatloaf with mashed potatoes and gravy. So come on down and see us. And if anybody sees Mr. Bergen, please report his whereabouts because you know I'm looking for him. Might have, might have to do some serious hunting. Thanks and have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glad. Remember to add money to your account by seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or by going online. The Power Club had a meeting at lunch on Wednesday. If you would like to get involved but haven't attended a meeting, see Mrs. Sardinia for more information. Glad. Test prep sessions continue next week on Thursday. Remember to sign up in the library for those sessions. The available sessions include reading, writing, math, test anxiety, and content boost with Khan Academy. All teachers have flyers posted in the rooms with dates and content. Stay tuned on Monday for Moose's Music Minute when Moose will bring you some new tunes for your listening pleasure. And finally, it's time for Penny Wars. No, you don't get to chuck them at each other. You just put them in your class box in the library. Collect all that loose change from your backpacks, cars, and in your couch and bring them to the library. Here's how it works. Pennies count as positive points towards your class totals, so put those in your class box. Any silver you have, nickels, dimes, and quarters, as well as dollars, those count as negative points against other classes, so put those in a box other than your own class. Proceeds from this event will benefit Teen Court. Teen Court is an organization that helps teens who have made poor decisions make up for the error of their ways without judicial consequences. Penny Wars runs until February 8th. That's all we have for you today, Glads. Have a great Friday. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Spencer Walter, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.